see all those great topics that I uh, While you're perusing through your phone, you might want to turn the volume down. Yes. Silence our phones. I was in church on Sunday, and I... Three guys walking the bar. And oh, I put my phone... I always silence my phone. And I put my phone in my pocket, and it swiped my swiped my jeans and turned the silencer off. Turned it <laughs> turned it back on. And so we were texting, and it was going... Bling. And you guys were texting me, yes. And it went... Bling. And I looked, and Shelly looked at me like... Really? <laughs> and I called like twice. And I was like scrambling to get my hand in the phone, you know, hand in my pocket to turn it off. And I was like, damn it, I'm that but guy. But you tried to do it so no one notices, so it's not me. Uh-huh. It was, I mean, I was that guy, even though I'm religious about turning my phone off. Thanks for texting me during church service, gentlemen. You're welcome. Well, you know, um, the day of church was after the Saturday that we went to the local Frisco Revel Bar to watch the tribute band. It is. ACDC and uh, Metallica and Metallica. Motor ba- Breath. Motor Breath. And there was a lot to talk about after that concert. Uh, yeah. Yeah, after. But, you know, during the concert, it was actually pretty good, man. I, I mean, I wouldn't think, I would never go to a Metallica concert. You know, I mean, I. I would. I, I, I would respect. Now. I would now. I was really impressed. Yeah. yeah, those guys jammed, and it was, and they were solid. I mean, I made fun of them a little bit because the big, f- the the guy, the lead the singer, lead singer, he had a uh, whatever shirt he was wearing, <laughs> it followed the con, followed the contour of his belly, and you can see like a huge crater where his belly button was. Yeah, he had deep belly button. Yeah, yeah I didn't really look. That I close. thought they did. I, I, video, did I think Paul you. was impressed. He looked. He was like, "This guy is is he is it recorded?" Although yeah. they did have a backing track. <laughs> no, it was really they the, stopped playing. It was, it the, was, still gu- gone. It was the guitarist. I was like, I, 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 yeah, I even texted or maybe, maybe we talked about it. I was like, if, if, if the lead guitarist, and I didn't know he was the lead singer as well, the lead guitarist of Metallica. I go, if he were to get like sick on a, on a, on in the middle of tour, could this guy? Like join the band and like and like you and know, play yes could he, he would he couldn't sing he it, was but, you would be surprised on you, how many fabulous or I should, I, fucking how many fantastic uh, guitar players are out there session players that they're just phenomenal yeah you know? guys that are actually better maybe than the yeah. Metallica uh, guitars sure. in fact that is a trend. Uh, they have uh, there's a lot of albums put out there where you, they have a band that plays like you go to a concert you watch. ACDC, but the That's actual for a musicians. Long time. That's been going on for a long time. Yeah, the actual musicians in the recording studio oh, gotcha. weren't the actual band players. Band members, yeah. yeah Isn't yeah. that crazy? Like Boston. Tom Schultz played all that in his basement. Oh, yeah. And then he hired his band. <laughs> right. right. No, that's crazy. And there's more. There's a. Uh, there's some lady, but she did. She played the bass. I think we talked about yeah, this in the prior podcast. Let's she, the, what are they called? The Power... There was a certain band that was yeah. back in the seventies or eighties. They were the session players. So they were on all their albums. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you were talking about that one time. All right. Yeah. Well, well, there's well, more to talk about with the rebel. Yeah, experience. with the rebel. I mean, I'll tell but you. Before we do jump we're into that, pop the hymen on a lot of stuff. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just going to say. So, uh, what are we at? We're, we're almost on the verge of February, right? We're at the end of it's January here. January 24th. It's day after Preston's birthday. Nice. The, the day and after Dylan's. they had a street brawl, which street we want to talk about a little yes. bit. And oh no. Also, not just the street brawl, but it was a statistics put out there today that I saw on the news that the age for under 21 murderers has gone up. The percentage oh, great. of uh, people that the people under the age of 21 has gone up significantly, like doubled. So people committing murders are getting younger and younger. Yeah. That's and, great. You know, and that just follows the trend of uh, what happened there. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's June 24th. It's a Tuesday night. We got a brand new bourbon that Ooh. we tried out. It's pretty good. Dude's we, like us. We I'm jumped Sean. into the summer. I'm he Sean. just said June 24th. Like us. Did I say June? Yeah, you did, yeah. I'm January. Paul. I'm Paul. I'm Sean. I'm Paul. You're Jeff? Wow. I'm confused. still Paul. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still Paul. You're We're still all here. Sean. <laughs> We're all and, here. And, and you're Jeff. A train wreck. I am. Anyways, <laughs> what is the, the bourbon we're drinking? This is, is Penelope Toasted. Well, toasted, that's it. It's tasty. It's toasted. Like toasted a toasted and marshmallow. It's, and it's, you have the bottle 
uh, Mr. Producer. I, I thought we already had this one. No, he so. doesn't. He doesn't have the oh, bottle. Do you so we're it? just flying blind here. What you grab it, real quick. it is Penelope. Oh, I will. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be back. Very well, shortly. I mean, you had sent a, a link on the appropriate way to uh, taste the um, <laughs> the bourbon. Yes. Which gonna, was I'm interesting. Gonna, I'm going to do it right now. Yeah. You're supposed to, like, suck it or something like that. Whoa. Uh, yeah, Penelope toasted uh, barrel strength, and we've liked all of the Penelope so far. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, even the four, the four grit. Actually, I do like this now. I mean, I just tasted it again. It's, uh, it's, it's got t- really soft. Yeah, it's- it, I, I said toasted marshmallow because I was joking, but it does taste kind of sweet, like a, a little marshmallow taste. Yeah, it's opened up very nice. Caramel. Oh, is this the to- is this the toasted information yeah. we have up there? Yeah, sweet nice. caramel. Um, okay, that's no, that's, that's not, not the toasted. the same one. It's the it's the toasted. This one's the tan label. Man, oh man, oh man. So, uh, yeah, I did call you in the middle of church, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I was calling you about the rebel. I know. I know. Well, well, there it is, right there. But what we were talking about is the tab. It's yeah. a four grain. Uh, oh, this one is strength, four grain. A blend of three bourbon mash bills. Nice. Corn. Uh, four grain obviously has all of them, right? Well, so it's a number two char, and they use uh, four to six year old number four staves and number two heads. Ooh, <laughs> nice char levels of aged whiskey. Okay, nice. mash bill. Every toasted series barrel has different mash bill. All four grains. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I, I, I love too. a. I enjoy a, a well balanced four grain bourbon. And what'd you say the uh, potency was? One well, no, twelve. One twelve. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Right in the little uh, that perfect uh, range that uh, we pocket. enjoy. Yeah. Oh, look now, at the how, little. Where does this fall in the uh, price range? Uh, sixty bucks. Okay, yeah. it's worth it. Yeah. All right, for all you listeners out there, Penelope toasted, sixty dollar range, definitely worth it. Yeah. Definitely worth it. Yeah, it's got a. Ver- it's very. Uh, it's very flavorful. Absolutely, There's lots of uh, lots of flavor to this. What do they call it? Chewiness or whatever. But it's uh, you know, it's it's uh, I, I'll put it in the same category as the TX whiskey. We always got that the bird. that maple uh, caramel uh, dessert flavor. This one isn't Ooh. as sweet. Still oh, so very... you're not talking about the bourbon. You're actually talking about the TX whiskey. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the Correct. sweetness at all. I don't either. You don't? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going totally to Oh, you aren't doing it right then. Hold on. Let me... uh, oh, I got to do it. So what, 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 what was that? That was an Instagram? That was a... Tw- uh, what, what, what was that? This is this obnoxious bearded dude. Help you taste your bourbon better. I don't know how to explain this technique, oh, so I'm go. just going to demonstrate. First, you must pour your bourbon. Just like that. I don't know how to explain what I'm... Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. what are you doing? This uh, simple trick can help you taste your bourbon. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just... No, I'm... Yeah. Technical... He doesn't really explain. He goes, you just put it on the top of your tongue and, and then... You... Kind of breathe in. Well, you know what? And in it the... aerates. And it makes it spread across all... Palates and it, it, tongues. Well, and his, a... his hypothesis was it exposes more of your tongue and your mouth to the flavor or to the well, to the bourbon. It pressure it it. What is a uh... no more taste buds are correct are touched correct in a, in a weird way. We can just gargle it. What is it like silence no of the lambs? Why not just gargle? What is it? the murderer's name on there? What a great oh point. yeah, so that's what he did when he had the yeah, fava like, beans and some fava beans. <laughs> That's what the guy's doing. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. What are you talking about? Silence of the Lambs? Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a nice Chianti and some fava beans. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's, what's the actor's name? Uh, uh, Hannibal Lecter. Anthony, 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 Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Anthony Hopkins. That's right. That's yeah. right. Anyway, it's a good one. Movie. It's a good bourbon. Uh, I think it's well worth the investment. Yeah. Penelope's. We have four of them, I think. And we yeah. like all of them so far. Yeah, we really do. Yeah. All right, so, so let's jump back to the rebel. It's a great well, story. Let's 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 do. Let me let me let me cue this thing up here for us. So, uh, dudes like us, uh, if you're in that age bracket where you're not necessarily like super wealthy, you're not super poor, but you know you're just dudes like us. You know you're comfortable. You're uh, middle class. Middle class. You know. Well, my point by saying that is that you know if you go out to a bar, well, I mean I'm not saying like you know we don't go to bars. I don't. We don't go to bars typically. Every week, you know, yeah. maybe once Only every on other week. Saturday nights. Furniture well, store is another story, but you know. <laughs> no, what we what we do is we like <laughs> we, we go out, and when we do, we want to go out and have fun, 
the right. idea in the idea of going out and having fun for for us dudes like us is that we want to go somewhere where we enjoy the music and we we, we want to drink and you know we're going out and, and drinking and having fun and listening to music there are some conditions you know the music has to be good and the place that you you go to you, you, you got to be able to get home safely right, right. and got to plan ahead and, and you got to you got to trust your environment that you're in you know and and you got to be able to you got to be able to trust the people that are working there you know because if you're going to get blown up a little bit you know you don't want the server to to pad the tab Right. You know, yeah, because those environments, like the alcohol's flowing, the music's going. Oh man! Like, you hey, know, give us another round. Everybody's ordering rounds. Round. Yeah, everybody's ordering rounds. Hey, you know what? Like, I'm gonna buy us rounds over here. And then, over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, everybody gets cocky. Oh, let's do shots. Oh, oh, shot. yeah. You know, and then you never know where Look at that me. stuff's going. Right on the tab. Right. You see what right? my thumb is? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean so, seriously. So you, yeah, there's a, a certain amount so of trust all, we, that the we, servers we are online, doing stuff, and we we ordered, and, and this is the first couple times that we've done this, and I actually enjoy it. I I I, I bought a block of tickets for us. Yeah, and I think it's and fantastic. Reserve tables. Yeah. Oh, dude, and we got a really prime table. Oh yeah, it's great. It right. is an absolute right. perfect table for us to be sitting at, and we're gonna do it again, but we're just gonna do it differently. Right. You know it. it well, just we're going to do it differently. Is the long story short? But during this concert, we went to go see Metallica, Motor Breath. I keep wanting to say Motor Boat, Motor Boat, Motor Boat. 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 <laughs> and uh, and then ACDC was going to start around midnight ish. Yes. Uh, towards first of all, Metallica was great. Motor, well, they were the same band. They're Motor great. Breath, and, and Motor they, Breath. They really were Metallica. Band. So I'm not a Metallica fan. Did not expect that. I didn't grow up listening to them. No. I, I literally could name two songs. Well, I'll have to introduce you to them. I, well, I, I and really I was Metallica. thoroughly impressed. Yeah. A lot of it sounded, you know, relatively the same. I'm not going to lie. Death to everyone. Anyway, but uh, it, 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 did, it did have the same kind of flavor to every song, but... But it was still different. It was, it was catchy. Right. It, it, it was, was great. It was cool. We, and, uh, it, and the musical talent of this band was impressive. Yeah, yeah, they were they were very good. Even a singer, uh, regardless of his belly button shape, uh, he did a good job. <laughs> he did a great job. Yeah, and and I have to say, uh, looking over at Jeff, he looked like a freaking seven year old in an ice cream store. <laughs> uh, he was over there. Yeah, yeah. I have literally never seen you so happy. You were grinning ear to ear. You knew every word of every song. You're like, and you were like, Yeah, oh my god, this is a great one. <laughs> It was hilarious. Every song, so, I was, was like, hilarious. you know this one? You know this one? <laughs> so we, the, 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 the idea for know. this particular time, because the last time we went there, we got blown up and yeah. got pulled over. We're not going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be tame. Be we're smart. just going to drink beer. So be that's smart. what we did. Uh, I started drinking beer and I was like, hey, you know what? I want an old fashioned in a beer. I'm going to drink an old fashioned, finish my beer, and it's going to take longer. Right. That didn't work. And for then a while. we're going to do 10 shots of. And, and yeah, Paul was and, like. And then shots came out. Now, hold on, hold on. Paul was Just like. Just one round. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to drink at all. So I was like, all right, whatever. I tried. And the next thing I know, a, so I, a Buffalo Trace shot I re- gets I reach into down my in front of me. And I pull out two little mini bottles <laughs> of some Jack Daniels. And I was like, here you go. Jeff. I didn't see that. That's right. Yeah. Where'd you put those? Well, I was keistering them. Th- that, yes. No, no. Oh, I don't they mean, were warm. No, I don't yeah, mean well, where'd you yeah. have them. I mean, where'd you put them? Like, like you poured them into your old no, fashioned. I just I gave one to to Jeff, and uh, I gave one to oh, me, and I was just kind of like, I just oh. went up there and and it was gone that fast. And Jeff was like, "How did you do that? <laughs> I didn't even see him do it." <laughs> yeah, it was like the the plastic of the bottle like sucked in. <laughs> it was imploded. It, it, it was just, flat. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like it did. The, it, it was not, it didn't even glug. It was I'm, just like, oh, I'm surprised the bottle in. didn't go down with it. It was like a luge. It yeah. just went boom, right into the luge. mouth. Didn't we learn, didn't we, I mean, didn't we learn from the last time? We're no. like, yeah, we're going to sneak in alcohol and, and that's going to make our so bill go down. I get there. <laughs> and you guys, uh, no, 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 we just made we, everything we, we drank more potent. We, we pick that's up, uh, Scott picked us up. Uh, Scott picked me up and then we swung over, pick up the Chuckster. And uh, Jeff said, hey, well, I'm on my way over to Paul. And I say, I'll meet you guys over there. And right. uh, I wanted to get something to eat first uh, because you were like, I'm eating stuff at home. And Jeff was like, I'm making some uh, pork shoulders. And then no one invited me after I said, uh, you know, and I was like, all right, well, I guess I can't come 
come over. I'm going to go find my oh, own you, food. Oh, you were waiting for an invite? Uh, no, that didn't I was happen. like, I'm making leftovers. Come on over. Yeah. I was like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go over to Jeff's So house. I go over there. I order some uh, chicken tenders and some pickles, fried pickles. And I have a beer. And we're sitting there chilling. The, the, the server, who was actually really good at the yeah, raffle. Right? He was great. He was great. He took care of us. And, uh, you know, he said, hey, uh, I need a credit card for the table. I was like, well, um, how about a credit card for me? Yeah, much better and, idea. Uh, and he was like, well, I need one. F- you know, I just need one for the table. He's at, like, I need one sucker. At the end of the night, one we sucker will for the night. print out, because he says every seat has its own, uh, right. there's, it's significant. So whoever orders per the seat is, is going to get the bill. And he'll square that up at the middle, at the end of the night. Well, um, everything imploded. Well, I mean, towards the end Crazy. of the, uh, well, walk us through when the fire started there, Paul. Yeah, so so Metallica had finished, right? I think they overdrove the speakers. <laughs> yeah, they had finished. Yeah, well, I mean, we were we all had blood run out of our ears, so yeah, maybe you was, were. Yeah, maybe that's true. It was significantly louder than So then the there was concert. a break, and then ACDC was kind of warming up, and they were playing music and video, video on the screen that came down, and then vi- finally ACDC took the stage. Hell's and they bells. Were, bong, like very first song. Yeah, 45 seconds in. 45 seconds in, and we look up, and the speaker on the far side is uh, has flames licking out of it. It's not licking, but it's on yeah, fire. It, yeah, it, no. It, so at first, it just started out kind of glowing, and then some flames were coming out of it, and then they were licking up, like towards the ceiling, right. which, you know, great white. You guys remember the Great oh, White concert yes. where a hundred people? I don't know how. Well, many people that was died. different. Th- those were those it was were pyrotechnics. Yeah, those pyrotechnics that were designed to to flame out. This and, one and they caught the roof on fire. And they That's, had doors locked. And the doors were chained. Yeah. So anyway, and I wasn't worried about not being able to get out. But when it's when I saw the flames going towards the ceiling, I that's what got me nervous, because I was like, if that catches on fire and that starts to spread across the ceiling, I mean, and so I was like, um. Um, and I pointed out to you, or maybe you already saw it, and you sprinted off, like, to go get somebody. And then I turned to Jeff, and I was like, be ready to roll. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? He's like, he's like, what? <laughs> what? what? He's like, what? I was like, I'm singing Hell's Bells. I must have said it five times. <laughs> be ready to roll. Be ready to roll. Because I was like, man, just might, there, might, there might be a stampede. I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah, right? well, we were close to the back, and I would have gone out that way. Right. Yeah. So anyway, then finally people started in the crowd started noticing and they started moving away and people started having the same reaction I did, which was be ready, like, you know, get nervous. And they started filtering out. And finally, the band stopped playing. Correct. And the lead singer was like, oh, uh, yeah, there's a yeah, fire. The up speaker's there. on fire. Right. And then this dude runs out with a fire extinguisher and he goes, and then. He sprays the ceiling around it, which I appreciated. Well, he killed it. I mean, it was a plume. Yeah, it it went out immediately. Oh yeah. And then, the, but then he did it like a for good measure around the ceiling, which I don't think helped. Uh, it helped, but it didn't help what happened afterwards. Right. So immediately the place like became this hazy, cloudy, awful chemical mess. Oh, uh, it was just inhaling, just toxic. And we everybody moved out of the room immediately. Sure enough, not a, not a minute later, the fire department pulls up, and police. And the cops. Yeah. And so everybody's just, I mean, it's-, it's They ex- look over at Jeff, they're like, that's him right there. Yeah. <laughs> Grab him! <laughs> and they wrestle him to the ground, tase him right. eight times. Well done, by the way. Yes. In the butt. And you were still- In the butt. In the butt. <laughs> Wait, like a probe. Yeah. No, they don't have those. They don't have oh. the butt no. shocker. Yeah, no. Taser's enough. Oh. Anyway, so we we kind of moved out to the pool table area, and uh, everybody was, I mean, everybody was excited. Like, not in a good way, but like yapping it up, and I saw the fire, and oh, this, that, and this, that. I mean, so we were all, and then meanwhile, the, <laughs> meanwhile, the servers are running around. Trying to figure out what's going on. No, they were getting drinks. Oh, were they? I didn't even notice that. Oh, people were still ordering drinks, and the servers are running around making more drinks and, and delivering more drinks. Like, they didn't skip a beat. But I was thinking to myself, um, the night's over. Yeah. Like, like yeah. ACDC is not going to finish this. Well, they took the speaker down. Yeah, they took the speaker down. We walked back in there, right? And they had the ladder up. They took the speaker down, the cops, and, and they were in their, the firemen were in their full gear. Oh, yeah, full fire gear, yes. And there was a thin, a layer of shit yeah, on this everything. everything. Yeah. The yeah. tables, the chairs, the And floor. imagine the, the shit that's in our lungs. I know. Well, that's why I got out of there. I was like, I, was, I told Paul, I was like, I'm going out there. I can't breathe this shit. I tell you what, I smelled it on my clothes the next morning. 
No. Did you guys smell your clothes? Uh, I put them in the laundry basket when I got home. No, so. I didn't. I probably should have done that. You slept at them? I didn't smell it. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we were all so shit-faced that we, you know, we just fall into bed with them. No, well, that, no, no. that was it, too. I mean, the whole idea was not to get shit-faced. No, I it? absolutely was not. Well, I, yeah, I had yeah. two beers and the one shot, and I guess... I don't know what happened. I just... Uh, you got roofied. Well, I, well, that, and that happens every single time that we're over there. I mean, it's just like... I'm like at a point now where I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to drink beer when I'm there. That's what I had five it's beers until the shot showed up that yeah. I did the shot. Yeah, well, I mean... Well, that's, apparently was, two... Because well, you shot. did whatever he keistered. Oh, that's true. I did. Yeah. I, Plus, did I did two shots. There you go. So it has. I mean, guys, it, that's how it rolls, man. We're all listening to the music. We're having fun. We're we have a plan, but the plan blows up. But it gets worse. Oh boy, the, it gets worse. Because remember, I told you you want to go to a place that's safe. Oh, you know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. look, I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying that the the fire was made the place unsafe. You know, shit happens. Yeah, you know, I mean, you'll get over that. But it's just like, you know, the last every time that I've gone there. Um, there's always this feeling that they've patted the tap. Yeah, yeah. I've never contested it. I've always just been like, "All right, I'll pay it." You know why? Because it's just not worth it. Because you're it's not an extra... really sure. And then, like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go up there and go, "Let me look at the tab." No, I only had three of those and only two of those. And they're like, "Uh, no, you didn't." I mean, you know what I mean? It becomes a he said, she said. Exactly. Yeah. But this time, it was different. Yeah. This time they, uh, you know, the party left. The fire uh, nobody forced a lot out. of people out. Yeah, people just left. And Literally the, nobody. The guy out. that took my card for the table took it upon himself to charge the table onto my card. Yeah, and that's I was that's just the only like, card he had. Well, yeah, but that was on him, not me. Actually, that's I mean, not true. I had my own tab. Do you had your own tab too? No, I, I, my beers were on his tab. Oh, my, see, I had my own tab. Well, so that's what I, I, anyway, I, I told anyway, him ahead. to get his own tab. I told everyone, I didn't tell everyone, I told him to get a tab with everybody on of their course. own. The, don't, if, don't put this on me. And I told that at the very beginning, and I was the first person there. You tried. And, and I told the general manager that. So, uh, you know, I went up there the next morning, and I just had a, I just told him straight up. I was like, look, man, you know, we, we come out here, and we want to have a good time, and we get a little silly, and we Uber home. <laughs> and, you know, it just... <laughs> You know, we, we want to be able to trust the staff. Absolutely. And it's just like every time is that uneasy feeling. And it's not so much that they pad the tab, which I'm sure they do. They do. And if they don't, then what? They do. I feel like they do. You know, and in addition to that, they take it upon themselves to give themselves a $100 tip. Well, yeah. that, and that's what happened it. last time. They put 20% on our, on our big bill, didn't tell us. And then in the darkness and in the craziness and the drunkenness, really, you add another twenty percent on top of it, and they know they're g- they know that's going to happen. Correct. That's dishonest. That's dishonest. It is. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. So I meant, I, I meant to ask you when you went up there the next morning, were they cleaning? Yeah. Yeah, the place was, I'm sure, a disaster. Um, Do you remember the high school that got trashed by the seniors? That and was they- Memorial. Um, oh, I thought it was Reedy. No, it was Memorial High School. Well, they so had, and they got major trouble, and they said it was like ten thousand oh, dollars yeah. worth of damage because yeah. they were spraying, uh, you know, extinguishers. Yeah, and, and we the brief. Okay, they, they you know what that that puts credence to that. He sprayed it for what? The four seconds, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and it covered it, and the it, entire bar. Yeah, and if, <laughs> and it covered the entire bar. And if seniors were running around spraying this everywhere as part of their little prank, their senior prank. Oh my God! Yeah, no. Well, they they the, uh, cleaning the general oh, manager shared that there were people there all night long, cleaning. Yeah, all night long. Oh yeah, I figured they went. Yeah, all night they, long. And, and there were about five people there cleaning when I got there at ten forty-five. Yeah, my wife was yeah. amazed that they were open. That like well, people. I mean, it's got to be business as usual. And yeah. you know, and the speaker was down. It was sitting on the ground uh, in front of the um, the stage, and you know there was. There was really no damage. In fact, the general manager had called me today as a backup phone call, and it had nothing to do with, um, it had nothing to do with my tab. It had everything to do with the fire. So we went on that event bright bright event Eventbrite. website Eventbrite. 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 Eventbrite website to uh, to 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 secure the tickets, and I entered my phone number. So he's got that list of people that. That uh, bought tickets, and he called so, you. Yeah, he's going right down the line, saying, oh, "Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry this happened. Um, you know, we're going to try to make this up, and we just want to let you know that the place is safe, and that you know this doesn't happen. It's an anomaly." And then I was just like, "Yeah, thank you for saying that. It's unnecessary, but I do appreciate you going out of your way and saying it." Yeah, that's kind of cool. However, if you really want 
to but keep your, your your business and and keep us coming back. You need to get a you need to get your your wait staff grounded. Oh, so you say it again. I said it again, but I didn't know that was the general manager. He just told me he was the manager. Oh, oh was so, he like? But it oh, was the same guy. It was the same guy that you talked because, to in uh, person. Yeah, I, I talked to him in person because I, I just I explained to him and I and I was nice about it both times. So did he you recognize know? you? Or did he you say, "Hey, hey I was the guy that came no, in." No, I didn't say that. He he said it. He said, "Are you the guy that came in Sunday night, nice. Sunday morning?" And I nice. said, "Yes, sir, I, I am." And I, I was like, "Look, I don't mean to be beating a dead horse. I didn't know you were the same guy." And it's just like I, I think it's important. I think that if I ran a business and sure. someone was doing that, I would want to know. And I tell you, we we don't. So I mean, we we don't make or break your bar. We don't. No. However, we make a huge part of it when we're there. You know, we're part of the of guys course. that enjoy it. We're part of the guys that are having fun, and we're part. We're of the their sp- typical clientele. We're the spirit of. I can why promise there. you. I, yeah, I can promise you. If we're pissed off about our bill, there are many oh, others. Oh yeah, and that's what I can right. get to pissed him. off about their and bill. He, and he recognized that. And uh, and I haven't looked at my bank statement. Um, the very next day, I saw five hundred fifty dollars pending, that's and I was kind of like. Yeah. I mean, how many people do you know get have a I was shocked when I had a two hundred and sixty dollar bill. Yeah. That was just for me. That wasn't even the whole table. So granted, yours was the whole table, but even then I mean what? Uh, yeah, there's something else on there. Uh, there's something them, else yeah. going on. Maybe yeah. uh maybe a burnt speaker. <laughs> That's how he's gonna repay. Yeah, that. how much are those? Man, I Did don't they know. add that to the tab? It's just it's it's just a little frustrating, you know. It is. I mean, I you know what? Look, I, I don't want to beat this in. You know, in, in I don't want it. I want this to be a learning experience for everybody. Yeah. You know, be, first of all, we need to be more mature as yeah, dudes like us and, sure. and be more responsible. We're out there. However, like I said, when we go into a place like that, we really do want to have fun and we want to let let loose and, and to trust those guys. But me personally, I don't know what happens, but. I, I I just get fucked up when yeah. I'm there, and I don't. That's why I said I think I was roofied. Cause I'm, and of course, I'm a little sarcastic, but at the same time, I'm like, I just don't remember drinking that much because I feel I drink far more when I'm over at your house, and right. we're making our own fucking drinks. Right. I feel like there's no way that I can remember everything that goes on at your house. Right. But yet, I don't remember what's going on at the at the revel. Why uh, not? I, I can't hold it anymore. Let's come clean. It was Jeff. They Je- gave you some uh, Jeff roofied RHB you. or whatever it's called, right? Yeah, it was so fun though. We roofied you, yeah. Jeff did. Were you sore in the morning? Yeah, I had a condom <laughs> Wait, in my butt. Oh, I don't know what that was from. <laughs> Paul left. No, it. I, I didn't it. say we butt raped you. No. What I said yeah, was no, no, we no. roofied We're, you. I don't believe I said that either. Well, we, we went to the gym and worked out. Is what I meant. Oh, leg day. <laughs> Leg day. Does that explain everything? I'm disturbed. <laughs> yeah, I had a condom in my ass. It's leg day. <laughs> Is it, how, how does that work? I'm not, I'm not really know. sure how that works. I th- right, I th- but I th- anyway, it's it's that was a, it's a fun story. I mean, I, it was kind of was scary. Well, not scary. Well, it's it's it something was, that it was, it was crazy. It well, the story for the fire was was definitely crazy. How does, a, how does a speaker catch on fire? I thought uh, it was low voltage going into it. No. Uh, okay, the bigger speakers no, are big, powered. I'm magnet. sorry. Yeah, the bigger there's, well, there's and a, the bigger speakers are powered. There's all kinds of things going on that yeah. could cause it. Uh, you know, there, those speakers I think were self powered, so there's no amplifier that's external running wires up to there. Otherwise, uh, the fire wouldn't have happened at the speaker; it would have happened down by the amplifiers. So I, it's based on what Jeff and I were talking about the Sunday afterwards is that we heard the sound system shut down for a second. Uh, yeah, did you notice that? I didn't. Yeah, there there was certain uh, one of the speakers went out. Yeah, during during Metallica. Yeah, it was no, the it left was side. After it was after the, the was... left side went out, and I was kind of like, well, that's odd. And I'm thinking, all right, well, they're doing a change up, so right. maybe they're pulling a, a oh, soundboard or something bands. in yeah. between. Bands. Yeah, when they're showing yeah. the and then all of a sudden, boom, it kicked back on, and then a couple you know minutes I, later, I do, boom. Yeah, I and, do slightly remember that. Yeah. You know, so I think it had something to do with that. But you know, look, here's the thing: when speakers go out like that, it's it's usually because they're clipping. If they're clipping, uh, in there's a little they thermostat. They have safety in there. Well, there is. There's a thermostat in there, and it shuts off, and it it, it shuts off the power. So and then it the, ignites. There's like a well, little fuse that failed. starts to so starts but, to spark. But what can happen? What can happen is that thermostat will actually melt. And apparently it did. And when it melts, then it recreates that bond, which totally is the opposite of what it's supposed to do. That was but, crazy. You know, it, it, was, it must have been that hot where 
you know. Plus, they had probably had a bunch of dust and who knows. Oh, yeah. Bullshit oh, there, yeah. Right. That is all... so, I mean, dust my, is my a... takeaway from this is things. it's not safe to play Metallica. <laughs> I, I, I think mean, what was, if I'm wearing earphones? I don't think sakes. it matters. I don't think it matters who was playing, and I don't really think it was uh, had anything to do with the, the Metallica. Plan. No, I don't so think... I can wear headphones and listen to Metallica, and I, I'd be safe. Oh, you're a jackass! But you know what? The the whole experience about <laughs> uh, going explode. to a bar and getting drunk and trusting your servers yeah. is important. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's the Revel. It doesn't matter if it's the the. Kelly's up the street or, or fucking yeah, back in. That anything. could be any bar. You I know, mean, I mean, we probably have had that experience, you know, any of us. And look, at any bar. I've right? been in the bar business. I mean, I've, I've worked at the bar business. I know the cocktail waitresses. I know for a fact that they do it. I know. That's I think, crazy. I know oh, they yeah. do it. That's you not know? cool. It, it's not. And it's just like, you know what? I want to get the, t- the, the tab up, and they try to get them so drunk. And they were like, hey, I'm just going to do 20%. Is that good? And they're like, oh, that's fine. Just take care of it. You know? No, they don't even say that. Well, some they of just them bring do. it. Well, it's uh, some of those girls. You know, it's all about the money. They don't give a shit. Yeah, I mean, they're greedy. Right. But I get this, it. This was a guy, though. He was this very was attentive. He was, he very, was very attentive. Good. He was great. He was very good. He was yeah. great. And so was the girl. Honestly, yeah. I mean, she was too. <clears throat> but here's the problem anyway, I have: but yeah. is anyway. that one of the guys at the table, Scott, gave the server that night uh, a hundred dollar bill for a tip. Oh damn! Because he was like, "Hey, I don't know what's going to happen with the bill." Um, but here's a hundred dollars for you. So we tipped a massive tip on top of that. On top of a massive like that tip. was a not, so that got, was not enough for them not he to got screw up. Twenty percent. Wow. A hundred dollars, and then another hundred dollar bill. It's a, it, it's enough to make me go. Eh, let's find somewhere else to go. Quite honestly, but I don't know. But there's not a lot of places where they have live bands now, and there's not a lot of places that play the music that they do. So you know what I'm going to do is uh, I'd rather rehabilitate the place. Yeah. And kind of uh, force them to well, like fix the issue. I got you. Well, you know what? We'll put this podcast out. It'll be like, hey, man. You know, I don't say, I say, don't give up on the revel. I say, I mean, we've liked it for a long time. Yeah. And we'll continue I mean, to like it. And we liked it when it was Grover's and we liked it when it was Coach Joe's and whatever the fuck it was before that. No, it's it's been several things. Yeah. 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 Well, this is the longest I think it's ever been anything. Yeah. That's true. And I, and I enjoy it. They, and they have a great place. It's they a great do. venue. I like, I like the food. way it's set up now better than it was before yeah. the stages. They, oh, but, yeah, they, they switched up the, yeah. Yeah, but I think, Sean, you have a point. I think it need, they need to be, like, raised two feet. Yeah. I, look, it, it, here's the thing. If you're going to, if you are going to spend money on tickets, yeah, then I don't think it's appropriate that you have people standing in front of you oh, gotcha. uh, on the dance floor yeah, to the watch The only them. raised area is that back corner, uh, which they um, call the VIP the area. Yeah, it's, you know. It's, but it's, it, like, the farthest place away. 80 feet away from, from there, but, right. you know, I just think, uh, I think this, it would be better if the stage, I mean, because look, there's tall ceilings in there. There's, what, 22 foot ceilings, yeah. you know, so that's, it's tall. It's, it's tall enough where that stage can go up another two foot, and I think that two foot would really make a difference. Yeah. Probably. It would really would, you know, just, but, you know, I'm afraid, you know, someone's going to get drunk and fall off the fucking stage. You never know. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's always, you know. Well, and two feet higher keeps crazy people from going on the stage. Yeah, yeah, like that <laughs> that one lady. Lord, there was a lady there. in there, and it, you know what? Here's the thing: is she she didn't appear to be ugly. She well, was an older woman. She was she. I don't know. if She was drunk or on. Drugs. I don't know what the deal she, was. Yeah, what she there's had always on. there's always somebody. She was a groupie, I think. Yeah, there's yeah. always somebody that is like just doing something over the edge. You yeah. know what I mean? I said you guys have a picture of her. I know. Always somebody doing something yeah, over the edge. And, and you know, you gotta you gotta you gotta <laughs> chalk it up to alcohol, right? I mean we all do something stupid when we're when we drink too much. But anyway, anyway, that was a fun that's a fun night, yeah. even though it was kind of crazy. But Well, I came home and evidently um I did a lot. I mean, I came home and um I yeah. cleaned up the kitchen because the wife had a little get together that yeah. no one showed up to. And uh so I cleaned up the the, the vacuum packed the the chicken wings yeah. and and put all the food away. Evidently, I played a few games of uh, yeah. Apex. You dusted the living room and vacuumed the. Uh... Well, I didn't do that, but I went oh. upstairs. I put on my mask. I filled up my reservoir with water. Did I you, did a bunch of shit. Did you do the dishes or do any laundry? I don't remember or... that, but I do. Remember, I woke huh. up. I woke up the next morning and I was kind of like, it was like, it was a normal morning, and I was kind of like. Where, oh my God! Where what the fuck I happened last night? Last night? Yeah, how I, there was a fire. How did and I get all I remember? <laughs> and 
Why is there a sealed steak on my chest? No, <laughs> no it was just funny because I was Chicken talking wings. to. Uh, I, I was playing. <laughs> I got onto my, the video game on later, and, and there was a, a guy that was on there. I was like, "Yeah, dude, you were fucked up the other night, but you were playing good." <laughs> Oh, like, so you were getting feedback from the people you play with? Yeah, it oh was just God. like, yeah, you That's couldn't horrible. talk at all. <laughs> oh my God. That's the way it was the last time. You couldn't even speak <laughs> when you were when we were driving you home. You were like, <laughs> 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 so bad. Yeah. I thought we're trying to do better. <laughs> That's not a sign of doing better. I know, I know. And you we're know digressing. I mean? Well, and here, and here's another thing that dudes like us may go through. I, look, I've got a lot of friends. That uh, they're kind of like, I'm not drinking anymore. I'm an alcoholic. Uh." And I'm like, bitch, you're not an alcoholic. You're just a dumbass. Stop (laughs) drinking so much, you know? (laughs) And then I stop hanging out with them. And it's not, it's not, it's just because, you know, birds of a feather flock together, sort of speak. Sure. You know, and if he's, it's just different. It's kind of hard to hang out with someone if you're going to have drunk and blown up and they're like, I'm sober. I'm not going to do anything. Well, that's not fun. Because you're going to recognize that I'm an idiot. You need to be in it with me. Right. right. If I'm going to be a moron, it's I want very you to be a moron, too. You know? Yeah, right. I get it. Codependent yeah. moronic. But I, it's like, I'm, 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 it, it's coming to well, well, terms would, with that maybe I am an alcoholic. You know, it, it, Being an alcoholic doesn't necessarily mean you have to drink every single day. It means that you have a hard time controlling it when you drink. You, you need to know when to stop. Right. 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 And you need to know when to say, all right, I'm done. And I think sticking with beer when we go to a place like that will help. And don't get to the point where, like, we're doing shots. No, we can't get it to that It always point. happens, though. Yeah. Well, it can't. You have four beers, and then somebody goes, okay, this night just got on. <laughs> we're turning the corner. We're turning. Oh, there you go. And you know, I, just, a quarter. I just need to drink club soda and just bring my own mini bottles. And or, then or add nothing. three to each glass. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Just pack a nine. No, it, it kind of does matter. <laughs> no, that's why I drank beer this last time. I was like, I don't. Wanna... I only had two beers. Yeah, I had <laughs> that's why five. I drank five. That's why I drank five beers, one old fashioned, and two shots of bourbon. <laughs> so I had. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Is that right, Jeff? That's what, yeah, I, had, I, I think <laughs> five beers. I had five beers. Buffalo, buffalo trays and two old fashions. That's what you had. No, I only had one old fashioned. We had to have two. I had no, one. I, had I one. just had one. Did you decline one? No, there was one round of Just you one. bought one round of old fashioned. I bought four old fashions. One went in to one Chuck. of the round. Um, well, I just bought four, but then Homeboy at the end bought another round for everybody of old fashions. No, no, no. no he bought Buffalo Sh- Trace. Bought, shot a Buffalo Trace after the Buffalo Trace. He I bought another round. Then. I didn't. I don't remember that. I didn't get that. If I did, I don't remember. Because uh, I, I was giving one of the, the old fashions to Larry, and Larry was like, he didn't want it. He declined, and I gave it to the guy Sean and his wife Abby down there. They they actually they said they'd never had it before. They loved it. Yeah, I might not remember because I was carrying people out of the place. You know, fire with the smoke and the fire. Yeah, I had ah. like three people on my back, and I was like, like, yeah, I was like, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> oh. Good Lord. That's yes. why I, I didn't have that one round. Well, speaking when I of, came back, apparently you guys didn't save me one. No, I didn't have a second old fashioned. Yeah. Anyway. I probably drank yours. <laughs> you, you probably well, did. Well, you were like, like, you probably did. You were, oh, yeah, don't forget. I was trying. I was trying to be good. And you go, oh like, God. oh, my God. What a f- and we I ordered, don't know what word you called. I ordered like five or six middle lights when we were out on the pool area, right? Pool table area. Uh, Yeah, you did. Oh, before we. Before no, I this arrived? was after the fire. What? Yeah, you even said, so like, oh, my God, he's buying more beer. No, that was Scott that said that. He's like, I don't, I can't drink another beer. <laughs> Did I drink one of those? Yeah. Did you yeah. Have one? Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> okay, we can't go there anymore. It's wow. too dangerous. There's fire. There's too much alcohol. It's about control. Yeah, there's really expensive tabs. Yeah. All you know, right. it, let's, <laughs> let's move on. I wonder on. how much their old let's, fashions are. Now, if they're freaking fifteen bucks a pop, then you're ordering four of them. Oh no, no, no! They're forty-one dollars a piece. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think they're like nine bucks. No, I bet there's they're more no, than that. There's they're no more than way. That. There's no way. They're definitely more than that. You think? Yeah, I bet yes, they're close to fifteen. I definitely bucks. feel like they're more than that. Wow. All right. Well, you know, uh, so we have. Uh, a news article that was put out there that the trans women were upset at 
and, and they want Aretha Franklin, who's no longer alive, and her music to be pulled off of all the music platforms that one that say say natural woman. Oh yes. Yeah. What was the premise of that? I saw the headline of that. They, they were offended. They are offended by natural Na- woman because they know woman. they're not because they know they're not natural, woman. and it goes against what they're, they are. They're, they're, they're not a woman. They're a dude. So you why make me feel. why? <laughs> Why don't they make their own fake woman song? Oh, yeah. Innatural or unnatural. Un- unnatural. Yeah. Unnatural woman, man. Oh, no, no, no. It pa, 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 pa. Shh, shh, you make me feel like a natural <laughs> woman. <laughs> that's perfect. Is that better? No, yes, that's, that's I think the, you nailed it. Yeah, there you, you go. got it. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or yeah. men that have periods. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, what is up God. with that picture that you sent over it's, with a yeah. bunch can of guys? You, can you not do that? It's guys in underwear. They were wearing no clothes but bottoms, like whitey tidies. Well, I they... think some of them were women who had their breasts removed, and they're in their underwear. Frankly, I didn't look at it that close. I, you know, what? I made the mistake of looking close, yeah. and I, I saw that every single model in that picture, which like what fifteen of them, all had. Red splotches Look, in their crotch. It's, it's inappropriate. Let, totally let's, inappropriate. Let, let, let's just take away the fact that there are fucking stupid idiots up there uh, that are guys that are pretending like they're women that have blood spots on the front of them. Let's just pretend they're women. It's right. idiotic and disgusting for a woman to be up there w- with the same blood. You're kind of like, yeah, dude, gonna, yeah, go that, over that, there. I mean, what, what's next? You're going to fucking shit your pants in front of everybody and show the brown stain? What the fuck? That's a great point. I mean, had there has there ever been a, a marketing campaign of women in their underwear with blood on their crotch? Oh, oh my God. Let's right. advertise these new Depends and show like yellow in the front, brown in the back. Yes. I don't know. I mean, These just, days, I, I I can't answer that. And say no, there hasn't because I, who knows? It's out of control. It's out of control. It is this this uh this attempt to 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 push that narrative and to silence and to silence anybody against it. Did you yeah. see the Mark Hamill? Oh, go on. Well, he I don't supported know what this he is. supported J.K. Rowling, right? Well, all he did was like a tweet. Oh yes. So there was a, a trans uh, trans woman, so it's a guy, now a woman, that said, I'm more, I'm more of a woman than Rawlings is. Right. And so Rawlings responded, please cite, uh, citations, I, please. I, I did see that, yeah. Yeah, citations, please. Very clever. Right. Like, like where you show, you know, basically cite your evidence that you're right. more of a woman than I am. Right. And Mark Hamill simply liked it. That's it. He just liked it. Because I think he probably thought it was funny. Right or or maybe he obviously he respects her as an author. I mean she's a right. brilliant author. She wrote freaking the the Harry the Potter, Potter series, stuff, yep. which is brilliantly written, right? Yes. Anyway, so he likes it, and they they just savagely attacked him. Yeah. Did he apologize? Oh, not that I'm aware of, and I, I hope, hope he doesn't. Not, man. I hope he doesn't. I, don't, I, just, I would just ignore it. Yeah, this, it'll eventually go away. Yeah, this cancel thing is just. Just raging, yeah. raging well, did, out of did, control. Did I send you the video of the guy who wants to go to the all women's gym? No, and he, and they wouldn't let him. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and they and they they said and they he went once, and the manager comes and says, "I think you'd be better if you went to our co-ed gym." Yeah, why not? And they made a big story about it. How why? Because they? there was a bulge that the women were well, uncomfortable dude. with. It was a big dude with long yeah. hair. He went by Kylie or something like that. I don't understand. My name is Barbara. I yeah. can come here anytime I want. And he sounded like that. He goes, you know, I work out. I stretch. <laughs> Can't they at least have a high, yeah. a high pitched feminine I voice? I lunge. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I never will get it. You know, and it's just the fact that they want to remove her, her uh, uh, the music off of Spotify. They're contesting it. They're beating it up. And I'm like, man, shut the front door. Who, who, who's the music? I don't know. That's Aretha Franklin, the natural oh, woman. Yeah. And there's another one, uh, woman, Helen Reddy. Has she seen that? I am woman. Hear me roar. Yeah. You know? How about it's raining men? What about the women oh, that? Oh wow! What, what, what about mean, the women that have transitioned to men? What about Man Eater by Hall and Oates? Oh, oh man, It Eater, <laughs> It Eater. Well, I mean, what do you change it to? <laughs> they I don't know. Eater. They Them Eater. Give That's it time. Cool. They're going to go. So they're going to go through all of uh, all of those. So here's here's part of the problem. And, well, and, and, but before you you say that, yes, sir. 
California has already passed legislation that says you're not allowed to address people as he, she, or her, or him, them. But you're not allowed you're to? You're not allowed to. It's a, you get a citation if I say he. He went to the bathroom. Uh, that's a violation. Oh, 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 oh. You're saying if you miss... Misgender. If you miss... miss uh, well, no. Misappropriate something. Mis- that's misgender. Yeah, you're not allowed to use pronouns in describing someone. Like, what are you supposed to do? Uh, hey, you. Uh, well, well it, it's a crime in the UK as well. Well, that's Are you a, kidding me? Even online, and they, online, if you misgender, it, it's it's not even that. It's there's a word. It's not mispronoun. Appropriate. But it's misgender. So they just so okay, if you you're don't misgendering do, use, someone. Okay, yes. all right, misgender. All right, so yeah, and there are people that have been charged, like with thousands a, of people, with a crime for misgendering online. Thousands of people in online, UK. and that's why Jordan Peterson started his thing because Canada passed the law who was going to force him to say that. So he, that's where he threw his arms. He goes like, you can't tell me what to say. Right. You can't tell me what pronoun to use. Yes. When yeah. I know it's incorrect. You cannot tell me what to say. And that's how he really got his start in what he's doing these days. Yeah. Well, there was, a teacher, right there was a teacher that was getting torched for this as well. And, and that teacher said that they he refused to use pronouns that he didn't agree with. So they settled the dispute. I don't think in court, but they settled the dispute. He said... I will I will address you by name, and then that's it. I will not call you he, she, they, them, but I will call you by your by your name, birth name or birth name, Carol. I, I don't know. Days. Well, that's a great great question. Oh well, no, I guess whatever name you want to be called. And if you legally change your name, that's fine. You're now whatever. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you know, Ben Shapiro made a good point. He was talking about you know, well, can you all of a sudden can you be sixty? I saw yeah. that. Yeah, I, I mean, saw that. I mean, what if you're, what if and you're, and then you get the senior citizen discount. Yeah. What, what if you're 17 uh, and you identify as you're a 21? So, I, look, I identify as 21, so I can go buy beer. There you go. No, they're not going to. They're not going to respect and that. And if you're 67 and you identify as a 19 year old, you can't drink. <laughs> True. Yeah, you can't buy alcohol. You identify as a 19 year old. I'm sorry. Well, sir. it's just like that 14 year old. Get to pull over by the cop because he's driving. Well, I think I'm 16. There you go. Here, look God, up, look there's up. so many, it opens up so many opportunities for well, everyone. But how 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 do they argue against that when you say that? I mean, I'm what sorry. argument do they have? Yeah, I'm sorry, none. sir. I, I mean, as far as the age as... goes, there's there's none. But but you're not you're not 18. You're, well, what you're if not. I'm drunk and I say I identify as sober? <laughs> Well, that's why this whole thing is. You see, the, you see them like you know, identify as a cat. It's well, crazy. You diagnose Furries. them. Is that's what, what uh, that's what Tony Dungy got in trouble for, right? Oh, for for criticizing. Well, them. well, no, he 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 put out some. It ended up not being true, but he he again Twitter. Just stay off of Twitter. Yeah. He tweeted that uh, these schools are putting litter boxes in bathrooms because the kids think they're cats. They're furries. And they pounced his ass, and he deleted it. it apparently, has it's not true. Uh, but now he's he's gone to the March of Life or the pro life uh, right. thing, and they're all jumping over his ass. They want him to get fired. <laughs> it's, so, it's so dumb. They want him gone, and they can't believe that NBC is allowing him on TV. So okay, so here's this is the earlier point I was going to make. I think we're putting way too much. We're giving too much credibility. To, to social media, all of this criticism, the criticism against J.K. Rawlings, the criticism against uh, Mark Hamill, the criticism against uh, the, the, the Tony, uh, what, what was his name? The, the, the coach. Tony the, Dungy. Tony Dungy. It's all, it's all Twitter responses. It's a very small oh, percentage. It's of all those. Twitter responses, Instagram, IMs, you know, whatever, whatever the terminology is. But it's all, it's, it's. It's all it's all stupid. Oh yeah, way to you, silence you, your way phone. To silence the phone there. So we we've talked about this before, where even news articles now, it's just all tweets. Yeah, they don't they don't even like go interview anybody. No, there, there's nobody to interview. There's no sources. They simply say this person said this, and oh my god, look at the response from all yes. these idiots in Twitter. Right, and they give them credibility. That's my point. Right, we're giving people. Way too much of a platform. I think it's I think it's laziness on the press's part, where they oh, yeah. don't have to work. They could sit there at their computer and write and news articles. There. They don't have to go investigate. They don't have to interview. They don't have to do anything. Yeah, they don't have to. Well, 
Yeah, they don't have to verify any sources or anything. They don't have to say journalism. That journalism, for the most part, is dead. And then uh, my sister was a journalism major, and she's actually she she said that for a while. She's like she's like there are no journalists out there anymore. Right. You know, I mean, not when the way I was taught. When you're quoting your sources as angry tran- transgender people in Twitter, you're correct. Y- it's over. Right. And and you know we'll see if uh, Tony Dungy is around next year because the season's over, right? Right. For him anyway. Uh, so we'll be we'll see if uh, well, I don't know is there a game on NBC uh, one of the playoff games it doesn't matter but uh, we'll see if he's around next year uh, they better not I I think there's I think there's a little bit of a trend of fighting back like people aren't just automatically being canceled and fired well I mean I, I think the, there's a little bit of a the tennis uh, I think we peaked the commentator on this thing, but about maybe not. the guerrilla warfare well, you that know? was a while ago that was early yeah but still I mean it's it's all the same. The same category. I, mean, I still can't believe that guy didn't sue, that tennis tennis commentator. Well, he probably felt bad. He probably agreed with them and went, "Yeah, I was I was wrong." I was Not what I meant, but it's yeah, ridiculous, it's wrong. right? So I was going to ask you guys how you felt about all right. So in Dubai, in the UAE, right, United uh, Arab Emirates, a- Arab Emirates, yes. uh, a brand new luxury Uber Uber luxury hotel for the for the wealthiest uh, opened up. Grand, grand opening. All right. It was called at, uh, Atlantis the Royal. Oh, yes. Maybe Atlantis the Royal is it what is. it was Atlantis called. Atlantis the Royal, yes. All right. So they had a blowout where they invited all the who's who, Atlantis the Royal Dubai. Looks like there cinder blocks. And so they had a massive blowout uh, grand opening. Correct. So they invited Beyonce. Bay Wants, yes. Yep, Bay Wants and her daughter. They paid her Pay twice. 20, 24, 24 million dollars. Twenty four million dollars. Yeah, twenty four million dollars to perform for an hour, uh, with her daughter. What? Twenty four million dollars to perform. Sign me up for that. Why not do it? And so she did. Uh, and then remember, Dubai is taking a lot of heat for you know they just hosted the no that was Qatar. Qatar. Okay, along the same lines. So a lot of these Middle Eastern uh, countries are. It's staunchly anti-gay because it's part of the you know. Well, it is. It's it's part, it's part of, of Islam. The, it's uh, part, of the, part of the religion. Yeah, right? Islam is strictly anti-gay. And right? if you want to perform over there, I'm fine with that. Just don't complain about it. Right. So there are a lot of the same thing. Twitter attacking oh, yeah. her because you know she, that's very insensitive for her to perform yeah. perform over there and make 24 million every one of those people would have done the same damn thing if they yeah. could, if they would have were going to say hey I'll give you 24 million dollars come over here and sing for an hour okay. right and then you got rebel wilson right right is that her name she's rebel? a comedian she was yeah in, she's a comedian uh, she was overweight remember she lost a lot of weight yeah she did well she just came out as gay <laughs> she came course. out as gay and she was at the grand opening strolling through the lobby holding hands with her uh female partner and everybody's like, hmm, there are people incarcerated in that country for being gay. Right. And you're just allowed to walk through the hotel holding hands with your gay partner. Well, when you have money, you can do whatever you want. I have to say that that hotel's kind of stupid looking. I've been to the one in the Bahamas. Yeah. It it's looks, unique. It I think it's unique, unique. But it looks, uh, it looks extremely precarious. It does. It looks like containers. Oh, it's going to collapse. No question about it. Yeah, I like I, the one in uh, the Bahamas looks better. I'm sure this is very luxurious. But it is very. It looks like a bunch of bricks. Yeah, it looks like uh, containers. Gigantic, yeah, store, uh, shipping containers. Shipping containers sitting on top of each other. The one in the the one in the Bahamas. This one down here is the one I went to. It was nice. Yeah, that one. Oh, there. you went to that one? Well, not that's the one in that. That's the one in Dubai. That's the Palm. But the one in the in, in the Bahamas looks very similar to that. It just doesn't have the big Arabic little symbol in the middle. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the little temple. Yeah, whatever that temple is. Temple top or whatever that the is. The spade. Looking so, so they were saying, the, pe- the people that were there, they were talking about how, how amazing that, um, you know, it was like people walking through the lobby were like, Jay-Z was sitting at the bar and this person was over here. I mean, it was just loaded with, and I'm sure they were all paid to be there. Right, as part of the grand opening, everybody was probably paid with goodie bags and. Oh yeah, I'm sure they were. You know how the the Oscars are that way, right? They get like a hundred thousand dollars worth of goodie bag. Oh yeah, they do stuff. I you mean, know, it's ridiculous. And they and they and that area is just 
extremely wealthy. Oh, yeah. It's a tiny country with tons of, of, this, of oil revenue, right? This is the place who's building the the city Sean wants to live in, the 600-foot-wide city by 37 miles. I haven't heard anything about that in a long no, time. I don't necessarily so want Are they I've, still the, building that? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. So you're still going to move there, Sean? <laughs> no, I never said that. <laughs> I just said I'm not against it. I mean, uh, that, the, that's the what Nome. I said. I think it's called the Dome, N-O-A-M. And they've got other things... Uh, as part of that, that is just one of the things they're they're working on, um, and uh, I think what it does is it, it, it cultivates a frame of mind. Or, I don't want to uh, interrupt y'all, but I just got notification that it's currently snowing outside. Oh, oh it's snowing, snowing in Frisco, nice. Texas. Blizzard. Yeah, wow. nice little echo going so on. So we may voice. be we may be trapped here for yeah, for weeks. We have to sustain. I've got we got popcorn. Yeah, really? Do we have a place for us to sleep? Get some pulled pork. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I've, got, you, I've got three beds. If that's you literally all you had to say was pulled pork. <laughs> really, it's snowing outside. Well, I'm, I'm going to confirm this. I have, according yeah, to the, my, well, the temperature at nine o'clock was supposed to drop down to thirty-one degrees. Well, there you so go. you know, but it goes right back up at eleven to thirty. Right now it's thirty-four, and it can snow when it's thirty-four. It just won't stick. Oh, it'll it's real. Stick. It'll be real slushy. Yeah, hey, Mister Producer, pull up the gnome. I think it's N O A M. Um, is what they call it. You know, that's uh, the first time you've ever broken into podcast with breaking news. I don't know, breaking, oh, news. breaking news. Yeah, well, you should do that more. It's often. Austin, the producer, with the ticker ticker of yeah. the Frisco temperature and weather. No, it's. I hate to interrupt this regular programming. It is snowing in Frisco, Texas. How's my? Was that good? Yeah, that's nice. My my emergency news bulletin. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, right. uh, gnome, N O A M. Yeah. No. I don't know what we're looking at here. Like a gnome. Yeah. No, it's a it's a company. I think it's called. Uh, I think. Well, look up the Wall City. I think it's called. Uh, maybe you'll find it that way. All right. So while you're looking that up, so the premise of this is it's in a very inhospitable desert climate, and it's supposed to be, uh, you know, where it's self-sustained. It's like right. super low, you know, no carbon footprint. Uh, it's got luxurious, you know, greenery inside, and it's like a wonderful blah, blah, blah. But it's so, in the desert. Yeah, so it's making inhospitable land into a wonderful apartment well, dwelling. Well, and, kind know, of and, correct. And yes. it's, it's it, the idea. And Sean's going to move there. Well, I mean, it just, the idea is, is, uh, it's reputable. I, I, I think it is. I, I think it's something that, you know, people should get a concept of being able to do something like that. Let, let's just think of outside the box for a second. Okay. If we wanted to populate like Mars or something like that, okay. uh, they're going to be forced to live in structures like this. Well, sure. So that that's kind of what I believe the concept is, is is that they're, they're trying to figure out a way to do a self-sustained uh a city, essentially. You know, what, you know what it makes me think of is a like a floating space colony. You know All those right. movies where they have like yeah, they're literally in space, like Cloud City with yeah, uh, yeah. exactly from Star Wars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like a you know like a, it's, a, Chris, it's, a yeah. it's a gigantic space station, but it's got like like the Death Star. thousand people. Not the Death Star. That's more like a a weapon to kill people. Oh well, it's a big floating planet. You know now. Witness. Did they have any the destruction? Look up one it's, power it's, it's N-E-O-M. Did they have any greenery on the on the Death Star? I don't remember uh, any. When no. they were you know running through, being chased by storm troopers, storm troopers, were there atriums? Or? I, I don't recall any greenery, but I don't either. They're building. They're building. It didn't look very hospitable. Or they want to build all of these uh, uh, octagon uh, different things. Oh, well, good I, lord! I think I think these communities have merit. I really do. I, I think that, you know, everything is quantified it's in the there. future you know, of you have you have a controlled population right. that has a controlled uh, amount of schools and classes and jobs and uh supermarkets and uh I think it's very uh when you when you think of movies from the future. Right. right? Uh like Logan's Run or whatever. Those, yeah, those well, type of things, right? Where yeah. Every th- every part of your, your or like life, escape escape from New York escape from New York every part well, of your your life is that it, and is controlled yeah like could, soil and green 
it, I mean, it could turn deathly, meaning, you know, if you are encountering uh, a deadly disease or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like Planet of the Apes. Or I'm I also about, think just like a, like a COVID or something like that. You talking about being attacked? Yeah, you can get attacked as well. Just like by I, Tie Fighters. Yeah, like Tie you Fighters. You guys aren't even reacting. I'm like I'm like rolling out one horrible futuristic movie after another. And you guys are like green. Yeah, you guys are like mm, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh. Planet of the Apes, Stormy <laughs> Green, Escape from New York. I'm like throwing out all these horrible non-utopian. It's examples and you guys didn't even react. The Hunger yeah. Games, yeah. Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. There you yeah. go. Right. That's what Dubai's building is. Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. Oh. Well, I mean, it could be a way to uh, to set up some sort of uh, quarantine programs where you know, hey, look, uh, we're instead of instead of uh, sending you to prison, we're gonna we're gonna send you to Dubai to this the to the octagon, and you're gonna live there. For the next ten years, and but it's not a penal colony. Well, I mean, it could be a form of it's one. Supposed to be the exact opposite. It's supposed well, to be that's utopia. What, that's what, that's what uh, Escape from New York turned into. They walled yeah. in New York City. Well, they they walled it in, but I'm saying there there will be structure as far as uh, you know. Uh, I'm assuming some sort of authoritative st- structure in there for policing and. Well, have you seen the Palm in uh, Dubai? No, that's I where ha- they that's where they created. The, I haven't the been, there, been there lately. Well, the poem has been there for a decade. Oh, is that the thing where they 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 draw up sand? To they make dredge, the they dredge, and they built the land, and it's in the shape of a. Actually, there's two of them. I think one is like the world. Oh right? yeah. So you could buy a continent as an island, and then they have the palm where it looks like a palm tree, and they have houses. So nice. Oh, and so so it's been there for tw- ten years, and what? Probably it's it's there. I mean, they did. Oh, okay. It. I thought you were what say, I'm saying like, is something bad happened. No, there. I mean it's there, and uh, what I'm saying is it cost a shit ton of money, but they did it. And so China, I, no doubt they could do this. Is coincidentally doing s- stuff like this similarly. So what they have in in, in China, t- so to create a a border, because I, I guess. It's it's a hundred miles off the up the coast of something that they technically own or something like that. There's some sort of area disputed territory. Of, yeah, this so, is the South South China Sea. So what they're, they're building? They're doing, bases. Yeah, they're building these islands, military bases. And well, I mean, not just not just military bases, but they're building islands. And they're saying, all right, well, here's an island right by that hundred mile marker. Right. And we guess what? Another hundred miles. We're going to push out another hundred miles. And so they build it, they start filling it in, and then they just they keep doing it. And they're just like they're just in other words, adding they're expanding up. their territory by yeah, and they're, artificially creating land. But but what it's doing is it's it's interrupting some of the uh the transportating the transportation of, of goods. And it's, uh, a it's massive a, disrupting our commerce. Yeah, that's a massive doing. transit area. Yeah, so they're yeah, sorry, you can't put your boats through this pathway anyway, because now you're in international waters. US Navy floats through there all the time. Oh, they're in shit. And <laughs> China can't stand it. Right. We do. We we patrol international like major maritime trading routes. Yep. The US keeps open and we float through there all the time and they're they get pissed. But I that's exactly what they're trying to do. China's shitty, yeah. man. Well, you know they've got. You know, it's whatever. kind of clever though to build their to to artificially create land. I mean, it is to what push it their, is to push their boundary to out. To me, it seemed like they need some sort of declaration though. You just can't sit there and, and dredge up something from the middle of the sea well, and be like, "Yeah, this is what we're doing." You oh, also have man. to look at the the actual <laughs> international law. Is Fuck it from the here. mainland or is it from little one little sprouted island? All right, now uh, I get to go out 100 miles more. Well, yeah. no, it's it's no. it's from the mainland. So if you if you're at the mainland and you have an island out there, then you now you you can go out 100 more. Oh, that's the, what I mean. I mean, I don't know if it resets because you all of a sudden you have an island. No, 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 no they one, feel like internationally that. no one's buying it. No one's well, that's buying what I mean. It. I don't know. Well, if that's but what that's what they're does. proposing. Yeah, yeah, China's and buying it. But they're making no one it else is buying it. Kind of like uh like Nova Scotia, how they have a bunch of uh, scattered islands, you know, and Right. An archipelago off the coast now. Well, yeah. I mean, they make for pretty like visiting places, but I don't. How how long can I mean? Where do they do they go really to the bottom of the ocean and they dredge up all this the sand? Yeah, they. they so they leave an, like an empty valley. I down heard there. they import it from Dubai. Could yeah, be. but well, I no, mean, it's 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 an erosion thing too because there's gonna be currents. There's not an island there for a reason, right? Because there's currents and all kinds of shit. So you're gonna constantly have to backfill that thing. 
Okay. Or yeah. or you build a big retaining wall. Or something's going to happen where <laughs> you know uh, it, you you change the the dynamics of how how the ocean runs in one certain direction. Yeah, you could if it was it, like it, in a major. Uh, it could alter the 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 Gulf rotation Street. of our core of the Earth. Oh yeah, that just happened, right? You know, <laughs> they should do what they do in Wisconsin. So in the lakes in Wisconsin, when it freezes, when the people want to create a beach, when they have lakefront property and they want to create a beach, you know what they do? Have we talked about this before? No. no. So the lake freezes, like crazy freezes, and a dump truck drives out onto the frozen lake, pulls up to the shoreline, dumps all the sand on top of the, the ice. So when it melts. And then when it melts, it falls down and creates a little shoreline for them. So China should just freeze all the water along the South Pacific. So, what well, they they the they, they bring it out to the middle of the lake or no, to no, the no, edge. They did, but they do drive out onto the ice, back up to the shoreline, dump all the, the the sand onto the ice, like a big mound of sand on top of the ice, and then when the ice does eventually melt when it gets warmer, it falls down and boom, you have a little sandbar. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is. What if, I, every, I, what if everyone did that? The, sh- the, the lake would just shrink. It'd be no more lake. I don't think so. No, well, wouldn't, the, wouldn't the water level keep rising, though? And then would, well, the water and is constantly moving anyways. Isn't it, uh, uh, isn't it magically disappearing into Niagara Falls anyways? What is? What? Like Lake Erie? Uh, well, I mean, all those lakes up there, aren't they like systematically connected somehow? Well, they're all connected with the Great Lakes. Yeah. So where does the water go once it goes down into the Niagara Falls? To the Mississippi, right? Yeah. And then where? Does it go to, to the, the Mississippi? Gulf? So, it, how, how does it get to it, the Great Lakes? It's, so it's drained from the northern. Isn't it from the Hudson Canada? River, Hudson Bay? Oh is it all tied right, in? So you're saying that the the northeast corner of the United States sends the water up to the Niagara Falls, and then the Niagara Falls dumps down into the Mississippi, goes down to the south, no. and then it just does no, a no, rotation. No, 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 no. The Great Lakes are fed lake. by probably northern Canada. Yeah, it's like Hudson Bay. Pull yeah, up a map it, it, of it, it, uh, the Great Lakes. So, do we think that the ice is melting constantly, keeping this uh, this water coming to us? No, no, it's been that way for thousands and thousands of years. No, no. but where's the water coming from, and where's it going? Is Northern Canada. So it's coming from Northern Canada. So right. there's like this there's... endless body, uh, endless flow of water coming from Canada. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, they have a big spring. Yeah. See, there's a little little river there, and I was wrong about the Mississippi, but yeah, way um, to go. Uh, where does it go? So uh, does Niagara Falls, is it empty? It doesn't have to go anywhere. Niagara it Falls? It could go into an aquifer under the ground. So hold on. This is a great question, though. Niagara Falls is a, is dumps from where? Lake Ontario. Look. Ontario? Okay. You see, you see the river up yep, there. Yep, I see that. And it's all connected. Oh, yeah. They're all connected. All right. So Lake Ontario is where Niagara Falls is. It's right now. Yes. It's okay. Right there, right there. Yes. Okay. And so that, oh, that there's a big-ass river going far north past Quebec. I mean, so that yeah, there we go. That's fed right there, and there's another river. Interesting. Wasn't it the Hudson River? Well, I'm just kind of... How many of us could name without... I know we're staring at it right now, but how many people could name all five Great Lakes? I could. Yeah. I grew up there. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, look at me. I've got yeah, a T-shirt. That's that's the five fan. lakes. I know all five lakes. <laughs> What's the God, uh, how obnoxious what's the, was that? What's the, the lake that's most likely to not be remembered? Remembered. I think Lake Euron. Yeah. I think, I think um, Lake Ohio. I think There's no Lake Ohio. Lake Erie. I think Lake Cincinnati Bengals. I think Lake Euron or Lake Ontario, maybe. How about the Lake, lake Michigan? How about the Lake I'm on? You have the Lake Euron, I'm like I'm on. Oh, the Lake, lake I'm on. So, so what's the... The Lake uh, he's, he's on? <laughs> so in, in Lake... Is it Lake Superior that has... Yeah, show them again. Lake Superior, Lake Huron, is Lake, Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. Yeah, is Lake Superior the one where the boat sank? Oh, in that... The song. They wrote a... Uh, they. Gordon Lightfoot. Wrote, is it Gordon Lightfoot? Yeah, wrote Gordon the Lightfoot. Song. The nice. mayor? Or no. the mayor of Chicago? No, he was... No. Oh, gosh. I now you got me thinking. Name. What's that song? That's a catchy tune. God, our tens of thousands of listeners are all like... Gordon Lightfoot. It's the... It's the it's a boat. It's about a Gordon ship, a big ass uh, boat that sank. The 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 something wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah. That's a great song, by the way. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Yes, you have. Oh, you've heard the song. You've heard that before. Oh, hundred percent heard the song. Play it. Yeah, it's very there we folksy. Go. I don't know. Yeah, and yeah. You can, seriously, no, you have definitely heard it. Are we going to be able to hear it? I don't know. Do we have Fitzgerald? Oh, we have a new laptop. 
Oh, that's right. Oh, my oh, God. It's on. It's on. Oh, it's oh, so Oh, my God. Loud. I'm deaf. Gosh. It's like I'm at the concert all again. Uh. <laughs> Watch out with the fire. Is it, yeah, is this Metallica? All right, I've heard this. Of course you have. Yeah. It's a great right, song. So this song is about our ship that sank? Yeah. It's a six-minute, 39-second song. Yeah, it's about this boat that sank and killed, I don't know, how many folks? Well, uh, tear up a little bit. It right. had 26,000 tons of ore, iron ore. So it killed a bunch of people in there? Well, they, they yeah. drowned, yeah. Yeah, they drowned. You so, figure a big boat like that. I mean, it's a it's a uh, a cargo boat, though, right? Yeah, well, here's the, the thing. Most cold. people don't know this, but the Great Lakes are big enough to have their own their own climate, meaning they have the same type of swells that you would have in an ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Gigantic, big. gigantic waves. And it, it's shoot. Yeah. I mean, so ships, a ton of ships have sunk in the Great Lakes, just like they have in the ocean. Gordon Lightfoot knows. Can we cut away listening? Yeah, yeah, just cut yes, away. Yes, we can. Yeah. This is, I think Austin's going to put this to his listening list. Yeah, his you should. List. It's a great song. Have you ever heard it, Mr. Producer? Yeah, That's a good kill story. It. You can kill it. Yeah, so that's still at the bottom of uh, yeah, that's still at the bottom of the lake. I, I thought you were going to do the uh, well, the, uh, the Gilligan's Island song or something. No, uh, that was a funny uh, meme about Gilligan's Island where they had a bunch of woke people on there. I wish I could remember what the hell it was. It was funny. Well, they were making fun of Gilligan's Island. Uh, well, they were making they were they plugged in characters that weren't the guys from Gilligan's Island. Like they would have Joe Biden there, and it, it was turned out to be Epstein's Island. And they were oh, talking yes. about <laughs> it, it was kind of funny, man. So you know what? Uh, how much time we have? So you know what? The we're talking about Epstein uh, Island uh, in some correlations with. Some stuff going on. So there was the attorney general for the Virgin Islands. I believe the attorney general for the Virgin Islands. Yeah. She was op- uh, opening up a, a lawsuit or something uh-huh. towards uh, J.P. Morgan. Correct. Uh, because she was kind of like, hey, look, man, you guys were in charge of Epstein's bank. And he had money coming in from everywhere. A ton. Unchecked. And nobody asked him anything about this money coming in. And all of a sudden, Joe Biden flies down to the Virgin Islands and diffuses everything. And that attorney general either got fired or quit. Got fired. She got fired, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, she wanted to go after J.P. Morgan for revenue, for revenue for the island that was unclaimed or undisclosed from Epstein during the Epstein years that went that flowed through J.P. Morgan. Correct. Something to that effect. And you're right. He makes it. He 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 it did Christmas. fly down there. He no, it was over Christmas. I think. Yeah, he, he flew down there. Oh, for and, vacation. Yeah, yeah, for whatever. And then all of a sudden, this happens. That story went away. She got fired, and the lawsuit got dropped. Yeah. Well, I think the lawyer Magic. who pulled the lawsuit. There are two people that got fired within like a few days. Wow. That they were that were related to this. And there's something fishy. And and I read that uh, Elaine Maxwell is talking. Yeah, she gave a couple. She gave her first prison interview. I don't know what she said. But uh, she, she didn't say said, shit. No, no, she did. She said that she believed Epstein was murdered. I did read that, yes. She believed that Epstein was murdered. And that picture, that very damning picture with Prince Andrew, with that 17-year-old girl. Correct. Who who sued Giuliani and said, "Yeah, sorry, maybe it wasn't no, him. It wasn't Giuliani. Yeah, no, no, no. It was no, Mark. No. It was Mark uh, no, it was another lawyer. Um, pretty sure she dropped it. She says, yeah, it was. she dropped it because I was like, well, maybe it wasn't him. It, it was Giuliani. It I thought. wasn't Giuliani. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Anyway, so this girl's credibility is being called into question, and Maxwell said that picture's a fake. That never happened. Blah blah blah." And then very shortly thereafter, and I don't I think it was unrelated to her coming out and saying this, Prince Andrew finally said he finally came out with a lawsuit against that girl and said, It's time to clear my name. I've stayed quiet about this for too long. I've taken too much heat from the royal family. It's time to clear my name. Uh and so he has filed a lawsuit. He's raised twelve million dollars to sue her. Right? So. Right. I- you know, it doesn't matter. Very I mean, interesting. It's it's interesting that well, it's it's uh it happens. They have these these piece of shit people that uh, women 
that will that try to get money. Yeah, you know, and it and it's clouding up. You know, there, but there's other stuff going on. There's like it's sad. There's because uh, you don't know who to trust anymore. Has uh, the person that was in charge or the person in charge of procuring some of the models for Balenciaga? Um, Pal- Ronda, Pal- Ronda, something. Help me here. Balenciaga, the oh, you're talking about that advertising campaign. Yeah, the one that had the the child the, porn the thing pedo, on there. Pedo show. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The yeah. pedophile stuff. I got you. Um, so she was getting the models. I, incidentally, she was found on the manifest. The same. But she, she that's her job to get models. Right. Okay. She was on the manifest for Epstein's Island. Oh, good lord. But so I'm connecting the dots between. Balenciaga, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, you you know how to say it, Jeff. What's the name of that advertising a- agency? Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Yeah. Okay, you said it right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's just it's just you know connecting the dots there. I mean, she was the one procuring the models. Right. Models were used shady, to go over to Epstein's Island. Super shady. And she was on the manifest. And there was no question that Ep- Epstein was was uh, was sexual trafficking, sex trafficking. I mean, no question <laughs> that that was never disputed, right? No. I mean, we have tons of evidence for that. So you know, anything, anything attached to him, I'm sorry, has a has a t- is tainted. Yeah, there. A- you know, and, and and it's almost like a uh, almost unfortunately almost like a guilty until proven innocent. If you if you are attached to Epstein in any way regarding that island, I'm not saying if you were at a cocktail party or you're at some grand there, opening extravaganza. There are a lot of people that were at I that know. island, man. You look at that list that the, of the known people, just the known people, there are a lot of movie stars out there, tons. Crazy. And there are some that are already suspect, that already in the news, uh, that uh, were uh, the gentleman that was laying on top of the 15-year-old boy uh, I never can remember his fucking name. Oh, you're talking about uh, House of Cards. Yeah, that guy. What's his name? Kevin Spacey. Thank yeah. you. God, you never he's remember always Mr. Johnny on the spot with God. all the actors' names. <laughs> always. So, but, I mean, it's just like things like them, stars like that. You know, and it's just... It, it's so just now he's facing... He, he battled and won against a number of cases, and now he's facing a whole bunch more. How, mm. like... It, it's how, it's how, his well, word against theirs, and it's kind of hard to prove it when, you know, how are you going to prove it? Yeah. How I mean, are you going to prove it? How are you going to disprove it? I mean, prove that I did put my PP in you. Yeah, but well, have it, you seen the the, yeah. s- the comedy sketch by Sarah Silverman where she is, it's disgusting. Uh, we'll have to try to find it during halftime. She she going after Kevin Spacey? No, she. it's a comedy skit where she's making fun of having sex with kids. Oh, great. Like. Blatant. That's wonderful. Yeah, like, like like the kid sitting like she kidnapped this kid in the back of a van, and she's like, "Yeah, uh, Miss Silverman, I have to use the restroom." She goes, "Can you do it in my mouth?" And she like she catches herself and oh. <laughs> no, she's like, "Oh my god, what did I just say?" Well, how's that know. any different than Bill Cosby with the Spanish fly on the corner? I don't know that. That was a little different. I no, think. that was comedy, and that was yeah. Uh, it's just that you was know. underage uh, pedophilia. Yeah. Was it though? Who, Cosby, mm-hmm. Bill Cosby. I don't think it was. I underage. don't think it was pedophilia. It was, all, it was all actresses, women. Yeah, I that was just played Sorry. out rape. Uh, but God. but you know the the buzz going on and, and the thing that they're pushing on some of the social media platforms. Now I got off of TikTok, but you know I'm I'm on I'm on Instagram a lot and I watch a lot of those videos. And it's there's the a, same. Whatever. My point is, uh, well, I, I feel like Instagram is uh, fact checked more than TikTok. Well, at least it's not China. Well, whatever. Yes. But, but the 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 fact is that they they are these videos are coming out and they're all about the the Masonic influence that's happening in in the 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 upper society, the the upper social platforms with the 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 heavy hitters of the planet. You know the oh Davos, Beyonce, uh, and the World and, Economic Forum. Yeah, and, and they've the got elites. these. You see, yes, they have—they the always have these, uh, you know, the little triangles with the hand and the eye. The, the, they move, they put the hands, the two fingers up and the two fingers down, and then the 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 symbols where you put your point your finger and your thumb together and you make an OK sign. Well, that's racist, they say. That's white, white supremacy. White power. Well, I mean, it, it. What they're saying is that all the things I just talked about uh, all deal with the devil. And, ah, and you can say that that you can say a blanket statement 
the the reason why the world's falling apart is because of the devil. Well, but I mean, I could I could attribute there ten thousand things like, to that. Le, like LeBron when he was, does his uh, pregame um, p- prayers, whatever the fuck he does, uh, he does a, a series of gestures, mm. and they're all related. to... To Masonic, uh, not the Masons, but just devil worshiping Is it shit. Messianic? Are you no. saying there? There's a word, messianic. Like the Masons, right? No, it's not Mason the related. Masons. It's devil related. The uh, what's the? F- uh, I know where you're going with that word. I don't think that's the right word though. What's the word? He's. It's not messianic. Pro- producer, uh, well, devil is related. Was that Masonic? Masonic. Masonic not, is, I think Mason Mason is what Yeah, it's not a Freemason thing though. It's uh it has to do with satanic uh, satanic uh, culture. The devil put Masonic on there. I, I just play, well, in, okay. So you're saying hold on. So they're saying that Le, Lebron Lebron James Lebron Lebron James Yeah. Lebron he is, he's doing something in his pregame that is can be cons- Yeah, that's that's true as it, Put devil the word, put devil after Masonic, or before whatever. Oh, Google this is pictures are gonna be weird. Oh, this is gonna be from Satan to the Sphinx. Yeah, see right there, the Masonic mysteries. Oh, put on the Le- put in LeBron James. But as well. anyways, the 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 thing is, is that he does a series of gestures, right? And it, it's and they're all tied in. It's the same thing, you know, the two fingers up, two fingers down. He the does triangle. That? He does, and it's it's just uh, it's just this thing. It it it's a uh, a video that they put on Instagram, you know, and it's not just him. I mean, they've got Beyonce and her husband. What is his name? Jay Z. Jay Z. And uh, there's just a bunch of these stars that are doing it. Is it a coincidence? I don't know. You know, but well, uh, two fingers up and two fingers down, opposite hands, is actually pretty unique. It is, but all that's the, pretty. That's pretty like all, like if somebody if I see somebody doing that, I'm like that's not a coincidence. It's it, it is it is unique. It, it but it is unique, but it's also the fact that they did them all in a series one after another, right before the game. You know, yeah, the, that's kind of shady. So it's just, I, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know what it is either. And it's just it, you know, and I don't even know if I believe it. It's just the fact that it's out there. I see him doing it. Yeah. It's not modified, and they and then you have some guy suggesting what it is, and then they say, "Well, you know what? Here's a symbol of what that is." Yeah. And they have people in a cult doing the same thing that they're doing. So I'm like, "Well, I don't know," because he right, and then you're like, "Is that for real? Is, is it, that is this this the George Soros stuff? Is this the the?" I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's so many unknowns. So I think I think what you just tied together is LeBron James may be the devil. <laughs> uh, LeBron James is a piece of shit, racist ass fuck. He kind of is. But hey, have you? I mean, I know we're wrapping up this first uh, round here, but we need to talk about the Shannon Sharp thing. Did you guys hear about that? The oh. Grizzlies game? No. Ridiculous. I want. I want to make sure we cover that. Shannon the next Sharp, time. the tight end. Yes, he's a fan in the in the front row, and he's talking trash to the Grizzlies guard about in the Lakers game because he's like, "You're too short to guard LeBron James," <laughs> and so he talks back to to Sharp, and and Sharp gets all he you know he gets all angry, and in the, it was halftime. They're walking to the locker room. He steps out onto the court to to approach the Grizzlies players. He's a fan, by the way. I don't care if he's Shannon Sharp or not. The dad for the player comes out of the stands. The other players confront him. It gets into this separation thing, and he gets he gets escorted from his seat. But then he immediately comes back in the second half because he's LeBron. I mean, because he's Shannon Sharp. Whatever. Oh fuck him. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's like the dude should have been bitch slapped. No, dude's like us. Uh, uh, January twenty fourth. Uh, it's fucking cold outside right now. It is raining, snowing, Apparently, whatever the fuck it is. Quasi snowing. We're coming back with a new bourbon. New bourbon. And oh well, used no, 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 bourbon. No. A used, used bourbon. A recycled bourbon. It's a good one though. Right. Dudes like us. I'm Sean. I'm Paul, and I'm Jeff. Producer, Mr. Austin.